hello guys this is the second video of array in java and in this video i will talk about how do you sum two dimensional array okay single dimensional array summation is simple you can just run a for loop and you can sum that but let's say if somebody will ask you how do you sum two dimensional array so if you look at here i have made two uh, dimensional array of two object okay int a and int b where i have a data so the data what i have is it's a 3 comma 3 of size right so sorry it's a 2 comma 3 size okay so 2 row and 3 column why i'm saying that 2 row 3 column because one is uh, within this curly braces you have one curly braces comma second curly braces so first one is the first row second one is the second row so you have a two row and three columns so now i want i want to sum that and i want to store somewhere to do that i am creating another array object of size two comma three because i have two row three column right so like within the main uh, curly braces so if you look at here why i am saying that it's a two row let me show you here this is one row okay and it has a three column this is second row and it has a three column similarly this has first row three column and second row three column now i want to sum that uh, to do that i have to create one more array object and i'm running a for loop so the external for loop will run on the row which i have just now shown you in the excel sheet internal will run on the column and when we run that what happens is in this guy c i comma j is nothing but it's going to be a i comma j and b i comma j so one by one i will fetch the data from the array so it when when we will start running it for first time it will be 0 1 here also 0 1 so which is nothing but 1 now again it will be 0 sorry first time it will be 0 0 0 0 so it's nothing but 1 and then this guy 1 again this is going to be 0 1 so 0 1 is nothing to be this guy and then this guy because this is b array and this is a array and then here also i'm not put uh, putting a uh, ln because i want to print in the same line and uh, once every time when internal for loop will complete i want to print a new line so if you run this program So you will get output like this. So what happens when you don't write this? And when you write ln here, usual practice. So you know you will get a vertical line. You will not get uh, the outcome what I want. You will get like this. So this is also fine. Right? But I am not writing ln here. I want to print. So when I am running external for loop. So for first row, okay, I want to sum both. For first I want to sum both again for the second row I want to sum these two so that is the reason when internal for loop runs it runs on the column so it will run on this and it will run on this it will sum both and once the sum of both is done then I will go and print one new line so it will go to the next line that is the reason I am doing here that same thing I am doing here and you will get output like this so with this we are done with add into add in java Thank you guys, thank you for watching this.